Welcome to Croc Tears, and today we are breaking down Marvel's Cloak and Dagger, Season 1, Episode 1, First Light. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe. The episode story starts out with Tandy, Rachel Riles, and Tyrone, Maceo Swedley. As children, Tandy is in ballet class. When her mother forgets to pick her up, Tandy calls her father. Tandy mentions that her mother hurt her back and she is on pain pills. Her father, Nathan, Andy Dillon, receives a phone call about a Roxxon rig that's in trouble. As he talks on the phone, he increasingly loses focus on the road. Tyrone wants to help his brother Billy, Marcus Clee, and Billy's friends take back a car stereo from an unpaid customer. Billy doesn't want to steal the stereo and he definitely doesn't want Tyrone involved. Tyrone breaks into the cart anyway, and takes back the unpaid stereo. Billy isn't happy that Tyrone got involved, and decides to take the stereo back to the car. The police stop the two boys and the boys run to a nearby pier. One of the cops has his gun drawn as he looks for the boys. Billy runs to throw the stereo in the gulf and is stopped by the armed cop. Nathan watches the rig collapse into the gulf. Tandy yells at him when she sees a truck headed straight toward them. Nathan swerves and the car runs into the lake. The rig explodes in the water and the explosion startles the cop. He shoots Billy in the chest two times. Billy falls into the lake and Tyrone jumps in after him. Tandy is trapped in the sinking car and Nathan will not wake up. The truck that Nathan tried to avoid is headed toward the top of the car. Tyrone swims to his dead brother and gets caught under a bolt. Another blast comes from the rig, knocking out both kids. Tyrone opens his eyes and sees a light. He reaches for it. Tandy wakes up and sees darkness descend on her. She sees a hand and reaches out. They grab each other's hands. The present. Years later, Tandy is all grown up. She and her boyfriend Liam, Carl Lundstedt, run scams on rich targets. Tandy's latest target, Rink, Mike Donovan, willingly takes her to a private place. Tandy drugs him, lets Liam into the house in A. Robin. Tandy isn't completely honest with Liam. She tells him that she lives in one house, but stays the night in a church doing drugs. Her home life isn't that great. After her father died, Roxxon Corporation blamed him for the rig explosion. Tandy and her mom, Melissa, Andrea Roth, lost everything. Melissa turned to drugs and Tandy started stealing from unsuspecting targets. Tyrone plays high school basketball. He is getting pushed around by an opponent. He tries his best to contain his anger. After being pushed too far, he strikes back, starting a brawl. At home, his mom, Adina, Gloria Rubin, sends him straight to his room. He hears his parents arguing, so he puts on his headphones and goes to sleep. Life goes on the next day, as Tandy and Liam sell their loot for cash at a local pawn shop. Tandy is upset because they didn't make as much as she hoped. Liam tells her there's a party later that night that they can hit. Tyrone gets invited to a party by a girl from school Evita, Noel Renee Percy. It's not really his scene, but Tandy bumps into him making the night eventful. Tandy goes to the party to steal as much stuff as they could. Tyrone realizes real quick that Tandy took his wallet. He chases her down to a graveyard. Tandy reaches out and Tyrone touches her hand. At that moment their power switch turns on. Tandy's hand glows bright and Tyrone is emitting some kind of darkness. When they touch, a blast sends them flying backwards. Tandy realizes that Tyrone is the boy from the beach. They touch hands again and Tandy disappears into the light, leaving Tyrone behind. Tandy meets back up with Liam and thinks about what happened with Tyrone. She tells him about the accident and how she thought an angel had saved her life. She stops when he looks at her funny. Liam points out that she always stops talking when she's about to really say something in In a flashback, the Johnsons are at the police station. An officer tells them they found Billy's buddy in the Gulf. The cops say that he had drugs in his system. Tyrone tries to tell them that he's lying. He says he saw a cop shoot Billy. The officer says there is no evidence of bullet holes in Billy's body and no cop fired their gun that night. They do have surveillance of Tyrone breaking into a car. Tyrone says a cop with a scar on the side of his face shot Billy, but the cops tell him there is no one in the force matching that description. Tyrone goes home and falls into bed. He thinks he is covering himself in a blanket, but it's more like a cloak. He wakes up and removes the cloak. Tyrone finds himself on top of a Roxxon building. He walks downstairs and out of the building and spots the cop who shot his brother. That officer is now a vice detective and his name is Connors. J. D. Evermore. Tyrone tries to get home. 
but he only has a cheat and no. Tandy has a duffel bag of all of her loot, including money, drugs, and other goods. She hides the bag at her mom's trailer. Melissa comes home from work and tells Tandy that she quit her job. She also says she has a new boyfriend, a lawyer who's going to help her win their case against Roxxon. Tandy cut her hand picking up a knife, so Melissa tends to it. When they touch hand, Tandy sees a vision of her mom and dad watching her dance. Melissa says that life was so good back then because they all loved each other, and Tandy used to be so full of hope. Tandy comes out of her vision and is confused. She thinks her mom saw the vision too, but pulls away when she realizes it was just her. Adina tells Tyrone that the school called her because he missed the day, and he came home late the night before smelling like alcohol. Tyrone tells her to stop smothering him. He feels like he has to be perfect for his parents. He knows they think if he steps out of line, they will lose him. She admits to being afraid of losing him whether he's perfect or not. She tells him not to miss school again and they end their conversation with a smile. He goes back to sleep and wakes up in the truck of the officer who's shot his brother. Tandy uses the ballet tickets, but watches from the rafters. Rick and his friends wait outside of the ballet, waiting for any sign of Tandy. They grab her and they drag her to a valley. Tandy tries to fight back, scratching Rick's face. Rick tells his friends to go away and he tries to have sex with Tandy. Her powers activate again, creating a dagger in her hand. She stabs Rick to stop him from raping her. She looks at the dagger and it disappears. Connor stops his car and Tyrone can hear him making a drug deal. When Connor opens his truck, Tyrone throws the drugs in Connor's face, jumps out, hits Connors with a pipe and runs away. Connors chases Tyrone to an abandoned warehouse. Connors finds Tyrone and holds him by the neck. Tyrone sees a vision of what happened after Tyrone jumped in the lake. Connors freaked out for shooting Billy and said his uncle will fix it. When Tyrone comes back, Connors stumbles away from him. Tyrone runs and Connors follows. Tyrone runs into a gate that won't open. To get away, he jumps into a tar but the same time Connors shoots at him. Tyrone disappears and ends up back in his room. There is a single bullet in one of his speakers. Tandy woke up first on the beach. She looks at Tyrone and takes his hoodie. When Tyrone wakes up, Tandy is gone. He finds a single ballet slipper hanging in the tree. Tyrone pulls the ballet slipper out of his closet and smiles as he looks at it. Tandy puts on the oversized hoodie as she sits in the church alone. 